My next patron question is from Lamont, who wanted to know my thoughts on the trend of using famous actors in animated films over professional voice actors. While Disney has long been prone to this, such as The Rescuers and Oliver and Company, it seems that ever since Aladdin came out, with Robin Williams in the role of the genie, having celebrities voicing the characters in animated movies has always seemed to become the norm. These days, the best times we'll get to hear professional voice actors in main roles in an anime movie is if it were an extension of a television show. Do you think having celebrity voice actors in movies has overstayed its welcome, and whether professional voice actors might have a place in main roles of any original works? That's a great question. It does seem nowadays that getting famous people to voice characters in anime movies has become the expected norm. I think there are many examples of good casting. Disney and Pixar always do an exceptional job of pairing the right voices with the right character. Tom Hanks and Tim Allen turn out to be the perfect fits for Woody and Buzz in Toy Story, and in recent years Kristen Bell as Anna in Frozen, Jason Bateman as Nick Wilde in Zootopia, and Dwayne Johnson as Maui in Moana are all examples of good voice casting. They were obviously cast because it made sense for the character more so than because of the name recognition. Now, you do have cases where an animated film fills the cast list with famous people who don't bring too much to the table. Arctic Dogs was an animated movie where a lot of the names did not do much to elevate the film. Nothing about, say, Jeremy Renner or Heidi Klum's performances brought a unique element to the characters they were voicing. That's work that could have gone to someone like Jason Marsden or Tara Strong, who I think would have made those characters more dynamic and special. An upcoming case where I'm wondering why they're going with famous people over professional voice actors is Scoob. Warner Brothers already has voices viewers associate with those characters. Why switch them up? To the current generation, Matthew Lillard, Gray Griffin, and Frank Welker are Shaggy, Daphne, and Fred respectively and Kate Micucci's recent casting as Velma has been widely accepted by Scooby-Doo fans. Will Forte, Amanda Seyfried, Zac Efron, and Gina Rodriguez are all talented actors, but their participation won't exactly give a boost to ticket sales. With Frank Welker still doing the voice for Scooby-Doo, I wonder how awkward that conversation was when the producers told him he would not be doing the voice of Fred. You know, a character he's been voicing for 50 years, and somehow he still sounds the same? This is not even the first time this has happened with a Hanna-Barbera property. Remember Jetsons the movie, where Janet Waldo, Judy Jetson's longtime voice actress, was replaced by 80s pop singer Tiffany because Universal Pictures felt she would sell more tickets? That sure did a lot of good. Something I personally find distracting is if I'm watching an animated character, and all I'm thinking about is the actor in the recording booth saying their lines. That's not something that arises whenever I hear Billy West, or Gray Griffin, or Tress McNeil, or Kevin Michael Richardson, or other professional voice actors. But there is a risk of that happening when hiring someone primarily known for live-action roles. When I watched the Madagascar movies, I did not see Alex the Lion. I just saw Ben Stiller's voice coming out of an animated line. Funnily enough, it was more the supporting actors in the Madagascar series, like Sasha Baron Cohen and Andy Richter and Francis McDormand, who were able to disappear into the roles, rather than the main voice cast. So I don't dislike all celebrity voice casting, but I do find it refreshing when a professional voice actor gets the voice more than just a background character, like Jim Cummings did in The Princess and the Frog, or Maurice LaMarche in Zootopia. At the end of the day, professional voice actors are actors too, and should also be considered for animated movies. At least they're still respected in television animation. Thank you for your question, Lamont.